All right, all right. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakat Kadash. Number one, let's tell Apostles is a great millstone and salutations to your leg, which you ought to be. Yeah, we're, we're just uh, in transit to camp right now. And, uh, you know, the Spirit has got us, uh, you know, talking about Issachar and, like, the, the rest of the Northern Kingdom that look down upon uh, other Israelites that are dark-skinned, you know what I'm saying? You know, not other, but, like, uh, them being light-skinned Israelites, you know, Mexicans, Mexicans, or whatever they want to, you know, be called, Puerto Rican or Guatemalan, hating on their brothers, you know? Because uh, it tells you in the scriptures that one of the curses is that what? That they're going to have an evil eye towards their brother, man. I got it right here. Now, can you bring it out, Baba uh, This is Deuteronomy chapter 28. You there? Yeah. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Okay. It says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. Kind, you know what I'm saying? Because in ancient times, you know, if we saw an Israelite brother coming from afar, and, you know, coming in our direction or whatnot, you know, we would greet him. We, we'd ask him where he's coming from. We, we'd take care of him, you know. Uh, but now, that's just the opposite. You know, you go into any Israelite neighborhood, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, you know, that you're uh, not familiar with. You go into one of these neighborhoods, and, and they look at you all fucked up, man. Like, they, they want to jack you up on the spot. They want to know what you're repping, where you're from. You know what you're doing in their neighborhood you know or and, and that's just you know uh in the neighborhood but now you go into the workplaces you know these staffing agencies or these factories these warehouses and Issachar look at you with a stink eye you know what i mean because if you're dark skinned they think that uh that you don't want to work that you just want to go there and, and look at your your watch and, and you're just waiting for uh four o'clock to clock out and go home you know and and they just have this uh, presumptuous uh, spirit on them that you're not going to return, you know. Uh, and yeah, sure, so, some Israelites do that, you know what I'm saying? Or two thirds, I should say. Uh, but we're men of the Lord, man. We got the spirit, man. And, and we shine, bro. We, we shine in this darkness. You know, and they can tell there's something different about us, man. But nevertheless, the curses are upon our people. And that's why they have a. E an uh, evil eye towards our, our, our you know, an evil eye towards us, man. Not knowing that we're the we're their brothers, man. Kind of, if I might say, because a lot of the dark skinned people they have that evil eye towards. They're in the same kingdom, northern kingdom as them. Right. All right. They're of the same uh, kingdom as if we were in the ancient world, man. Northern kingdom and southern kingdom. Now the northern kingdom likes to have a lot of animosity uh, 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 between them and the southern kingdom. All right. But they have animosity between, you know, a lot of dark skinned people not knowing that they're the same king. They're the same people, man. And that goes back to those curses, man. It says that our, our, our eyes should be evil towards our own brother. All right. That's the Issacharites or Guatemalans or Zebulonites or uh, uh, Nephthalites being uh, 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 evil towards the, the southern kingdom or any other of the dark, uh, 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 dark brothers that... That are of the northern kingdom, man. It's because of that skin, man. Because what the white man has perpetuated is that dark skin, all right? Or the ways of the dark people is wrong, you know? Mm -hmm. And we all go back to dark people, man. All the patriarchs, they were dark skinned men. Even you, Issachrist, you so called Mexicans, you so called Guatemalans, you Ephraimites, all you uh, so called Latino tribes, you were all dark skinned at one point. All right? So that, 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 that curse is real heavy upon the, the, the tribes, man. All right? Showing, showing you that we are the people that are under these curses, man. Because we don't even know we're the same people, you know? Yeah, because that light skin is actually a, a shame that you're carrying, you know? And and, and you wear like a, a, a proud badge of honor or something, you know? Because mm -hmm. um, we know at a restaurant that we go to, um, one, of the the, one of the women there, they said that, you know, the lighter you are, the better. You know what I'm saying? That's what they said. That's what, that's what, the, that's what she said, God. you know? Not knowing that the Lord and the Heavenly Father and all the 12 tribes of Israel were originally very dark skinned people, you know? And that just shows you that the people, our people don't know who they are, man. Yeah. That's why if you could grab that Hosea 4 and 6, I got your ear. You know what I'm saying? Because what, is, what does it say? It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, but let's get the, let's, let's, let's get the scripture, you know? This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Yeah, you know, you're wondering why you're all jacked up, why you can't make ends meet, 
while, while your relatives, your sons and daughters are being gunned down on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you, you have a lack of knowledge, man. You, you are divided among your own people, man. All right, not knowing who the hell you are. You have this proud spirit on you, you know, claiming that you're Mexican and, and you're proud of it, or you're Guatemalan or Puerto Rican, you know? Kind of, no, man. Go ahead. Kind of, because, you know, uh, Esau Edom, he's giving them their own plot of land, whether it be Mexico in the South and, or in South America. Now they think they've made it. All right, now they think they can look down on the Southern Kingdom because they know the Southern Kingdom doesn't really have any land. All right, they, they, they're, they're slaves here. I know some Israelites that make fun of uh, the Southern Kingdom going into slavery on ships, not knowing that they the ones that went on the slave ships first during right. the Assyrian captivity. The oh, Northern after Kingdom. after the Assyrian captivity. Con, after the Assyrian captivity. In 1492, after, you know what I'm saying? Con, they were the first ones that came over here on the ships. So you know, it's it's just this the, the curses are real heavy upon our people, man. And now we're coming into the time where you have to come out of that that the distraction. You have to come out of that. Uh, Lack of knowledge, man, because you have people in the highways and byways teaching you who all you tribes are, man. Teaching you that you all are brothers. You all you all go back to the same man. Okay. Yeah, the Lord said my, my words are going to go back. Boy, you know, so these curses are going to be upon our people. And, and only the elect are going to come out of it, you know. And, and, you know, in the day of our power, you know, what is that, Psalms like 110 and 3 or something? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be willing then, you know what I'm saying? One third, that is mainly women and children. Why the women? Because uh, they're going to see power. Women are drawn to power. You know what I'm saying? If you have a lot of money, you know, fiat currency in this society, that's a form of power. You you can move around with, with ease. All right. And women are attracted to that. You know, to, to give you the big umbrella, they're attracted to power. And in, in that day. You know, they're going to, you know, Isaiah 4 and 1, you know, seven women are going to take hold of one man, you know, to roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be worried about, oh, about food or clothes. They're going to be like, man, let me have your name to take away my reproach, my shame. And they're, gonna, they're not going to worry about that color in that day either. Hell no. They're going to see a brown man with all that power and they're going to be like, man, you know what? I'm going to starve for this if I don't go with this man. And they're going to be, they're going to come from those families that were always racist. They're always racist against the different tribes. But yeah. the Lord said, all thy people shall be willing in the day of that power. That's right. It don't matter how you look. If you got that power, it don't matter all, It don't matter how that woman looks. She's going to be attracted to the power. You're going to have the spirit of Yahweh Shai upon you. So so they're going to be like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You you know, uh, uh, those that wait upon me, they're going to renew their right. strength. And, and like eagles or whatever with wings, roughly yeah. paraphrasing. No, nah, like eagles with wings. Eagles with wings, right, kind. So, you know, they're going to be seeing shit. That they've never seen before, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to be drawn to that, okay. you know, because a, a man shall be a, a hiding place from the, the wind, you know, I'm paraphrasing. That's right. You know, so in that day, they're going to be drawn to us, but right now, they're under the curses, man, you know? That's right. And it's, you know, it's vice versa, too. You have Southern Kingdom that don't like Northern Kingdom, you know? Oh, yeah, kind for, of. for no apparent reason, it's the, it's the curse, man, you know? Right, it goes back to that evil eye towards your brother, man. That's right. I yeah. appreciate it. Bring it, please, bring it. This is, um, this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. And what is the main sword destruction that people's minds, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, their minds are destroyed by Esau's uh, philosophy, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Here it is that uh, uh, there's a lot of so-called Israelites who got uh, uh, who hate dark-skinned people and stuff. But really, come on, think about it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's madness. You hate somebody because you don't like the color brown. You know what I'm saying? Hey, well, what about when it comes down to your child going to uh, kindergarten and stuff? Are you going to teach them to not use the uh, the brown crayon because you hate it? That's it. Don't it don't make any sense? You know? That's how you know that the, uh, that our people are destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Based off skin tone. Here it is that they can caramelize and they can get a little brown and stuff, but do do they hate themselves? No. You know? This is uh Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, verse twenty eight. It says it says the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And you people are mad, man. You know what I'm saying? You in a mind uh 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 mad 
uh, uh, state of mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. It's just a, a complexion, a color. And yeah, you hate the people because of it. You know what I'm saying? You know, when there's a lot of Israelites, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans, there's a lot of all tri uh, all uh, nations that's in these prisons and stuff that do the same thing. But yeah, you want to sing out somebody who's going through the same stuff as you. It wasn't the so-called black man, so-called uh, uh, Judite man, you know what I'm saying, who... Uh, 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 tortured and put C-sections upon your babies and use your babies for alligator bait. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't them that was trying to commit genocide upon your nation and stuff. It was the conquistadors, man. And yeah. if I might say, it's not them that continue to kick you out of your own country. It's not them that continue mm -hmm. to try to put up borders. Okay. All right, to keep you out of your 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 uh your your rightful country that you were given. You know, the Southwest of America was given to you. It's the Christ, you so-called Mexicans, but you hate everybody else. Besides the people that's doing it to you, they putting your kids in concentration camps. And you still looking at dark skinned people like it's their fault or something like that, you know? And it's like that that really that really uh, uh, solidifies the fact that we our people are under these curses. All right, our people are under these curses, and they're continuing continuing to walk in the way that their enemy has taught them. All right, and that consists of them hating their own brother. All right, you so called it's Christ. You see, all the Northern Kingdom, light-skinned, uh, straight-haired people, you, you, your brothers and sisters are the Southern Kingdom, the so-called Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians, man. But, but, but since you're destroyed from a lack of knowledge, you, you think that that's your enemy. You think those people are different from you. When you're going through the same bullshit that they're going through, man, we're all going through the same thing together, man. All right, which proves to you that those curses are, are, are actually real, man. Because we are, our people are completely destroyed, man, mentally and spiritually, man. You know. I appreciate so. Huh. It's James 4 and 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most yeah. High, Yahweh? You know, and uh, enmity means hatred. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. You love Esau's philosophy and stuff. And everything that he does is contrary to the scriptures. That's why it says in Job 9 and 24 that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked because this is what he consists of. You know, the men of the Lord, what are we doing? We bring it out the son of perdition. We letting you know that the Edomites, the so-called white people, the Caucasians, you know what I'm saying, are, are, are the children of perdition, man. You know, and that's the only vibration that they can work in. They can't do anything righteous, man. You know what I'm saying? They're pretty much like vampires standing out in the sun. You know what I'm saying? They can't take it, so they try to stay in the shadows because that's all they can do. Darkness. You know, mm -hmm. it says, uh, whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the most high. So if you want to continue to follow the ways of the so-called uh, white man and stuff, you're an enemy of the Lord. You know, and then that means uh, uh, hating the uh, 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 so-called black man, you know, what I'm saying a dark skin uh, uh, Israelites and stuff. Why is that? Because Esau hates that. He, he 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 hates that the fact that he can't go back to his actual color, that he's cursed with leprosy, man. You know what I'm saying? So all he does is try to uh, demonize and, and, and bring down that having dark skin is, is a bad thing. But really, dark skin, you're not an enemy to the sun, man. Having uh, uh, leprosy and light skin, you're an enemy to the sun, man. Because this, because uh, when it comes down to dark skin, we can absorb the sunlight, and it's a benefit for us. You yeah, know what I'm saying? We and, give it, it gives us vitamin D, you know. But for Esau, Edom, it bounces off. It gives you cancer, man. Right. It literally gives you cancer. That's why. That's why in Australia, a, a lot of them fucking Edomites are, are dying from uh, from you know, skin cancer, man, from the sun. The sun is jacking them up. It literally is. It's literally jacking them up. God, it proves to you that those are the people. Those are the people under the curse. I mean, how about Shmuel All right, and you, you, the Northern Kingdom worships the worships the white man or the so-called white image heavily, man. They want to dye their hair blonde. That's even pouring over into the Southern Kingdom, man. All right, because the so-called white man set up this image, all right, that if you don't have a lighter complexion of skin, then you ain't shit, man. That's what the so-called white man has set up. That's the, the vibration he's pushing, man. Because he's the one that's cursed, and he has to set up the vibration so that everybody thinks that his skin color is right and it's, it, it, it's normal, but it's not. He ain't even human. Human means man of color. Well, you yeah, the, 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 the first part of the word hue means mm -hmm. color, colored man. You know what I'm saying, and and, and that, that's why you see a lot of these celebrities, these people that you, uh, you know, these giants of these times, right? These famous artists like Jay Z, Beyonce, Ashanti. Uh, if you look at before and after photos of them, they were darker when they first came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But since they're on TV a lot, you know, and 
and Esau pays their their uh, you know gives them money and all that pays for all their shit. Uh, they're they're becoming lighter and lighter, man. With all these skin creams or whatever the fuck they do, it's madness. Yep, and and and, and uh, they don't know that that they, you know a lot of uh, the Northern Kingdom they're they're heavy upon uh, the Bible, but they don't. The Bible says that the Lord is a dark skin man. Yeah, but see, they they have a zeal of the Most High, but not, not according, according to, to knowledge. knowledge, man. I got a precept. Bring it, bro. This is Jeremiah seventeen and four. Yep. It's Jeremiah set. You got it. Yeah. Con, this is Jeremiah seventeen and four it says, "And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee." Our part of that heritage is knowing that our people used to, our, our majority of them used to be dark skinned. Whether it doesn't matter what tribe it was, man. That the heritage consists of our people knowing that the Lord is a dark skinned man. It, it tells you that our heritage consists of knowing that the Most High is a dark skinned man, man. So all this goes back to the fact that we are our people are under the curses, man, and that proves it, man. Because our people still think that this white image, which is contrary to the images in the scriptures, is the right way, man. They think that that's beautiful. That's the image of beauty in this society, man. Pale skin, blue eyes, blonde hair, which in the scriptures it tells you that's leprosy, man. All right, so our people have gotten away from their heritage completely, man. Hosea, Hosea 4 6 lets you know that and the scripture I just read in Jeremiah the 17th chapter tells you that man Which is why you see us on the highways and byways correcting our people man or trying to Correcting the people that that, that are that are gonna submit to you. How about shimmy all shy? All right, but majority of our people they're not and they're gonna be destroyed with their the, the image of beauty the so-called white man Because that's not the image of beauty man All right, uh, now, uh, okay, go ahead and then it's the same. Uh, you could always look at it like this. When it comes down to Genesis, the 25th chapter, here it is that uh, uh, Esau, when he came out, it was surprising. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that lets you know that the uh, uh, the skin tone was dark skin, and that was the norm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because it says that Jacob was a perfect man. That word perfect goes back to thumb. You know what I'm saying? Which means perfect, man. You know? The thigh and the mind in the Hebrew. Thumb. And he was perfect. So if he's perfect, that means perfect all over. Just like you have a shot when it says that he walked perfectly. Well, what do you think that means? It don't mean that he was physically cursed. You know what I'm saying? He he uh uh walk, he was able to walk perfect because when it comes down to his skin tone, not uh nothing was off. You know? It don't mean just he just knew the law, statutes, commandments, you know what I'm saying, and he was confused in the face. No, he he walked perfectly both externally and internally, spiritually and physically, man. You know? And that's the thing, you know. So when it when it comes down to it, having dark skin, that's 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 the right thing because it's benefits when it comes down to the sun, you know. That's right. You got another one? No. Uh, I got one right here. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, because what we're telling you is all according to the scriptures, and our people don't want to hearken to it because we tell a lot of the Northern Kingdom, we have. Myself, I'm dark skinned, but I'm Northern Kingdom. The brother here, he's dark skinned, but we're Northern Kingdom. This is the lack of knowledge. This is that lack of understanding that our people don't have, man. This is that this is that that uh that philosophy and that, that vibration that the white man put upon you to hate your brother, which is dark skinned, just because he's dark skinned. You know, to already be presumptuous about his life just because he's dark skinned. That's a that's a part of the curse man. The Northern Kingdom tribes are under, man. You know, and vice versa. You know? But I got one. This is um because they're not gonna listen to the words, so they're gonna be destroyed. This is um this is Acts chapter three, verse twenty-three. It says it says, For Moses truly said unto uh, the fathers you said Acts what? Acts chapter three, verse twenty-two. Okay. It says, For Moses truly said unto the fathers. A prophet sh shall the Lord your power raise up unto you. And that is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, a dark-skinned man. It tells you that in Revelations, the first chapter. All right, so all you people that worship Hezel Christo, he's not even, he's not, he's not Caucasian. He's a so-called Negro. dark skin. okay? And you and our people don't agree with that. So you're going to be destroyed because you're under the vibration of your enemy, the so-called white man, Esau Edom. It says, it says, a prophet shall the Lord Yahweh raise up up unto you of your brethren like unto me him shall ye hear in all things because a lot of the, the northern kingdom they, they they have tattoos of uh of christ and so-called jesus all right but you're not hearkening to the fact that we're telling you he's a dark-skinned man you're disagreeing with that telling uh, uh like the brother said 
earlier. A woman said to him that uh, the lighter the skin, the better. That's not according to the scriptures. And you and you it's a lot of the northern kingdom are stuck upon their idols. They're in Christ, they, they're in so-called Christianity, man. They they claim they know the Bible. But you ain't following it. You ain't going according to the scriptures. If that was the case, you would know that dark skin is what the Lord is. Dark skin is what the, the most high is, man. You see, it says, then it says, um, it says, him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass for you people, for all the, the tribes that are going to be disobedient to the fact that we used to be dark skin and that dark skin was the standard. In the ancient world and still is to this day the lord never changed it says and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people and the, the yahweh shai brought the prophecies he, he he gave you the revelation of himself that he gave to his servants and it tells you he's dark skin it tells you that it, it, it tells you all throughout the scriptures that we're under curses it tells you that we're going to be saved it tells you that the so-called negroes latinos and native americans are all the same people but, you know, you got the northern kingdom not listening. So, therefore, you are going to be destroyed from among the people, man. Because you're not going to speak in according to this word. You're just claiming that you believe in the most high. And you don't even know what the hell you worship it, man. You know? That's all I have. Uh, this yeah. is, uh, yeah. This is, uh... It's Second Peter's. Uh, I think it's in First chapter 1 verse uh, 19 it says we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in the dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts knowing this first that uh, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation so when we tell you, because it says in Amos 3 and 7, the Lord will reveal his secrets unto the prophets. You know what I'm saying? That means that there were certain things that was not told that's being told now so you can understand, you know, that he had hid away, but now it's being brought forth, you know? It says, uh, and when it says private interpretation, meaning that men and the Lord are not pulling out their ass. We're not going by what we think or how we feel. We're going by what the scripture and what the Lord had revealed unto us. Verse 21, it says, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man see you know it tells you tells you that it's not by the will of man you know you know but it says but holy men of the most high spake as they were moved by the holy spirit so it's the holy spirit letting you know that dark skin is that uh, uh um dark uh, uh uh that dark skin was the actual is the correct skin tone that needs to be man because it's beneficial where the sun doesn't hurt you man you know and i have another one this is um this is John chapter 4, verse 21, uh, verse 22. It says, ye worship, ye not know, ye, uh, ye, ye know not what, ye know what we, uh, it's like, it says, we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to the Israelites, you know what I'm saying? The 144,000 to one third, you know what I'm saying? No matter how skin, whatever their skin tone is, they're going to understand that dark skin is not evil. You know what I'm saying? They're going to understand the true philosophy of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and the doctrine that he brings forth. And that it's not going to be anything against a, 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 a skin tone because it'll be a, about the, the spirit, man. You know? And for the uh, the Iscarites and the Negroes who can't accept that a so-called Mexican or a so-called Puerto Rican or a so-called uh, 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 Native American Indian stuff, you know what I'm saying, no matter what their skin tone is, if they can't accept that, then guess what? They're more likely going to get destroyed because they're not in spirit and in truth, man. 